working out a, um, a way forward there. Okay, uh, can we move to item six? So we'll, uh, you may recall this is referred from the last council meeting. Yes, yeah, we did. did. Yep. And that, that passed. So Thank you, do you want to come forward? And now, everyone may recall the um, it being deferred here because there was a wee bit of it more information that was needed. I just wondered if you could update that. And I think it's Andrew. Right, so do you want to just update us on sort of the, the missing gaps, so to speak, from last week? We, we don't need to go through the whole um, presentation, but if we could just fill in those gaps and then... Uh, and it just should be acknowledged, we actually have a motion on the table, which uh, Phil had moved and I'd seconded last week uh, as a start. So, yep. uh, Okay, so I submitted some further information which came through uh, this morning, I believe. Um, the questions that I was kind of looking at was the um, financial forecast... Uh, and what we're looking to do to try and rephase the, the budgets for the works that were planned. Um, the work phasing themselves as well as provide some information on the, um, the Edenton Brook and Rickon and Drain filtration devices. Great, thank you. Are there any questions? Uh, it's already moved and so, so that's already moved and seconded but adding in the, the point that um, Agreed the timing, so like the, the last one. Uh, okay, Sarah and then Yanni. I just clarify that the um, that the additional resolution that's put in number five to do that one, it means deferring the project until after a decision has been made on the annual plan instead of getting on with it straight away. Is that right? I think that's what we discussed last time. Just want to clarify. Yep, just uh, how long will we be able to? Yes, I think we need to. Uh, um, if, if, if council has a mind to go ahead with the staged project, then we need to amend number five to say that phase one will go ahead this year, and then the staging of the next part of that project can be subject to the annual plan. Are you better with that? Yeah, so you happy with that? Defer current yeah. work. If that's got more consensus, I'm, I'm comfortable to just change that, if everyone's in general sort of agreement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Can we just... Helen, do you want to come around and work with David just on that wording, please? Great, thank you. Okay, uh, Yanni. Is, is this taking priority over other projects? <laughs> right. So, is it? Okay. So, is your question to me? Or to is this taking priority over other projects that is currently on budget? So, it, this is de deja vu. As, yeah. as, as we talked about last so week. So, it is, is it? Well, can I. You can either ask the question and answer yeah. it or let me answer it. So you choose. What do you want? No, sorry. Councillor Templeton was um, interrupting. Right. Okay. So as we explained last week, the ELT have a delegation to bring back and um, will bring forward funding uh, if that works. What we're agreeing to is the master plan here. And the majority will of council was to get on and do some of it, not necessarily all of it now. So we would be bringing forward, because you know we've got a massive underspend this year, uh, a portion of that to get on and do the work. Uh, and at the same time, we will have a discussion in the annual plan about the rephasing of the additional phases. So I, I think that's relatively clear, isn't it? From here, yeah. uh, except the so the dele again, unless I've got it wrong, the delegation is for ELT to bring back budget under $5 million, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not bringing forward the whole project. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The other question I had was in regards to um, the, in the memo, sorry, I was just trying to pull it up, but um, there's talk about the Port Hill sedimentation project being swapped out. So obviously that, that taking longer. So I don't know if anyone can speak to why that would be the case, it's just being a priority that I know we've, we've raised. So what we were asked to do was clarify where within the program projects had been delayed and where the funding could be swapped out, if you like. So we're not, we're not deliberately deferring or delaying anything to bring this forward. Some projects have already been deferred or delayed for other reasons, therefore we're bringing this one up to fill that gap in the program. So, that, so this is not, delivering, that, yeah. delivering this project this year is not stopping anything else going ahead. Right, so there's no impact on the sedimentation work. That's correct. Yeah, great. Um, and then the other question that I just put in was, um, given the option two, I think 
sorry, not option two, stage stage two, my understanding from the previous discussion was that the majority of the tree removals are in that second stage. Um, and given that we're discussing it through the draft annual plan, I was just keen to know if we could have some public consultation on stage two, given that's the one that's likely to be more contentious. Um, we can certainly um, notify the public, um, as I said at the previous meeting, that um, this has been a long-standing project agreed to in the master plan for Hagley Park. Um, and so sort of that wide consultation, I believe, is not necessary. But what we will be doing is notifying people of the work that we're doing and that's upcoming and for them to make contact with us if they have any questions. And we can certainly include um, the master plan once it's approved so that people can see it and understand it. So it'll be more about an ongoing conversation with people rather than um, tell us what you think about this. They've already told us what they think they want to see the brook ultimately upgraded. So can I just be clear, like the master plan didn't specifically have this level of detail on it. This was just- So Yanni, Yanni stop. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to spend the whole term saying Yanni stop, but if we could literally, your question has been asked and answered, they have said they can look at public notification for phase two if we decide to do it in the next annual plan. So when, when, that's it, we're, we're done there. Have you got anything that isn't relative to what you're relevant to what you were just asking? What well, I wanted to understand is just in terms of consultation requirements. It has been asked and answered, so you can stop. Okay. Right, is there any other question? Victoria? I'm not sure if this is an appropriate question for here, but just to help me um, understand the funding aspects of it. Can you confirm, is this a capital project that's to be funded by borrowing? Yes. <coughs> Can someone answer Yes. Yep. And is the cost of that borrowing included in the figures that we've seen in this memo? Helen? That's a good leader question. So this is, um, this is all being done within the approved annual plan budget for this year. So there's no, no additional cost, and um, given the consenting delays we've had on other stormwater uh, projects, the stormwater program, capital program, is actually at risk of delivery. So we're at risk of under-delivery rather than over-delivery against the budget within the annual plan. Yeah, I, I so understand. No additional cost. Yeah, I understand it's, uh, it's provided for in the budget, but uh, sometimes we don't borrow all the money that we say that we're going to borrow. So do we have to borrow for this project? And is the cost of borrowing included in that sum? Yeah, because if, it, if it's in the budget, it's it's already the taken cost of account. borrowing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, right. So we've Aaron. Well, just just to clarify on that, if someone was listening in that doesn't sit in on council finance meetings for years on end, the, um, the, the if the interest rate changes, the project cost has changed because money's no longer cheap. So you're going to renovate your garden, and your ten thousand dollar loan is now going to cost you twice as much yeah. each week. So I think that, that these are they're probably good questions, and like you said at the beginning, potentially not the right place. But I wonder whether we park that for the annual plan next week because it would be good to just help people understand that a bit more. So is that one of the in public conversations or non public ones? Yeah. Happy to have that conversation in public. Yeah, yeah. I think that's an public. important one. So then when people come and asking for things mm -hmm. like they do each annual plan, we don't hear from all the ones that win all year about what we shouldn't spend money on. They don't come in. Yeah. But the ones that keep asking, it's handy to know that. Yeah. Great. Okay. And we've got Melanie and then Sarah. Yeah. I just wanted to ask to ask if five can be put separately. Oh okay. Yeah, no worries. Yep. Sarah. Yeah, and I wanted to clarify a bit further on number five as well. So um, if we just got on with the whole project now, rather than phasing it in, in, in two stages, would it be cheaper for us to do it that way? But also, if we did stage one now and in the annual plan decided to do stage two later, what works wouldn't be done? Um, and what are the implications of that? So we would prefer to do a staged approach. So we'd prefer to do stage one now and then go straight into stage two. So the staged approach doesn't, um, doesn't slow us down in that sense. And we think that would be better in terms of the development of the project and the development of the design and the understanding of the general public as well. Okay. Um, but if so we... if we delayed stage two, yeah. yes, there would be additional costs. Okay. And what work wouldn't be done if we decided to um, not do stage two yet? Well, what, which, which bit is stage two? Is it the trees or...? Yes, so yeah. it's, the, it's, the, it's the area through the more um, woodland-type area. Yeah, <clears throat> but all of the 
all of the actual stormwater and brook work would be done in... No. No. No, it's just one section of the yeah. brook, and it's the more open section of the brook that's in stage one. Okay. Thanks. So if number five was to lose, you could get on and progress to straight after stage one? Uh, unless, unless something wacky happened in the annual plan. That's true. Okay, thank you. Yes, you can always revisit it in the annual plan anyway. Okay, so I think we're there. We're going to put five separately. It sounds like a few people want to, um, you know, which is fine. So, And you also put four separately. Oh. Yep. Yep, we can do that. So can we just... Um, yeah, okay, so you got... Do you want to just yeah, bring four down as well, David? That's probably a bit easier. Oh, sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Apologies, I, I, I sort of don't understand at the moment in regards to number five. So what are the implications if we don't, if we say no to number five? I didn't quite... Yeah, so what'll, it'll effectively bring forward all, all the money and do the whole project, whereas we were, well, the proposal was to, st and I thought everyone was keen, was to stage it and then have a discussion at the annual plan around around that second part. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jake, Jake, I was going to say, Jake, Jake, you would have sorted that on a Monday, wouldn't you? Uh, okay, so, <laughs> right, so if we put five... Uh, so let's put the two contentious ones first. So can we just put five first? Have you got something else? Oh, you could probably, oh, we do have to debate. Don't we? Okay, would anyone like to debate? We'll just debate. I just want one debate. I don't want the whole thing. So, um, Sarah, if you want to start. Uh, kia ora. Um, Hadley Park is a really highly valued, the most highly valued park in the city. Um, and it also has these amazing um, brooks and streams and things through it, um, many of which were underground for a while and then are through, that kind of thing. This report um, and the project has been to Mana Whenua, it's been to the Water Zone Committee, it's been to the Hadley Park Reference Group, all are really highly in favour of doing all of the work. Um, we need to increase the tree canopy, we need to do the stormwater work. And let's remember that this is a really poor quality stormwater facility in need of renewal to a 21st century state. And uh, while there's been some focus on the other treatment plant um, from the light industrial area, we need to remember that one of the biggest pollutants into our rivers is sedimentation. Um, and the poor condition of the current Eddington Brook clearly exacerbates this. Let us show central government that we can be trusted to look after our three waters infrastructure assets and let's not defer or delay or downgrade any of this essential work at a time where three waters is a high priority, highly visible um, issue for the city and for the country. We need to get on with this piece of work. We don't want to risk delaying it, deferring it and increasing costs. Thanks. Number five, we should look, we should be looking at saving money any way we can at the moment. I, I'm more than happy with the, the bit from, correct me if I'm wrong, Helen, it's roughly the bit, oh, I can't ask a question. It's the bit from the um, netball courts towards the hospital. That's the bit that's going to be done in stage one. And, that, and I've looked at the, the value of what that's going to be. I think that if we've got the opportunity to maybe look at the annual plan and putting stage two out a little bit more, looking at the hole that we're going to look at next year, I think we should take this opportunity to maybe just put that on the back burner and do the main part of it. None of what we're going to do here, apart from a little bit of silk, which is not a lot, from the, from the sides of the bank, none of it is fixing the um, contamination which is coming from upstream because there's going to be a, a filter system put in by a, by a later um, project, which is great. But this is just 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 tidying up, especially around the um, uh, the cricket cricket oval bit, where it's uh, where there's a lot of people at certain times of the year. So I would uh, rather uh, I will support the number five. Um, I'll probably repeat a bit of Sarah's, but um, this will um, this project will fulfil um, council's desire to plant more trees to increase our city's tree canopy. 
Um, there's an increase, obviously, in safety with the naturalisation of the brook and formation of the clear pathway that people can use as well, people like Tim with his dog, and um, who have self-sustaining plant cover, and which will decrease maintenance, decrease grass cover, and reduce our carbon footprint. And we've also already been informed by um, staff at the last meeting we had this at that um, they thought it was best to deal with the brook first and then to do the um, treatment stage um, second. So I um, think this is really great. It's already on budget and I'm sure we can, um, the Parks Unit will take on board um, our desire to do it for a lower cost if possible. So this is a really awesome project. Let's get stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, my lad responded that too. <laughs> yeah, to yeah um, I just remember during the uh, election cycle, I don't remember hearing a uh, election catchphrase was "Let's get stuff done at any cost." <laughs> um, look, I think you know we've treated this uh, this is essentially as a drain for the last 150 years. And this is our opportunity to re-naturalise it and actually enable better public access um, to this historic stream as well. And of course it helps with the river quality into, into the Avon Otakaro. We've heard from Mana Whenua, we've heard from the Hagley Park Reference Group. They're supportive. Um, you know, this is, as, as others have said, already planned, already budgeted for. I don't think we should be putting up any impediments. Everyone's really keen to, to look, at, look at rates and and save where we can, but, but the best place to do that is as part of the annual plan. Um, I don't think we should interfere with a project that's in flight at the moment. Hmm. Yanni. Um, so I hope councillors have read the memo that we are actually changing our budget by over $5 million. Um, so it's 4.4 in FY25 going, uh, and 1.1 million in 26, going into 23 and 24. I know the council's released the high level figures of the budget challenges that we face without the specific projects, um, but it is kind of ironic that some councils are supporting this going ahead of other projects when they just, in the previous resolutions, it is on the previous yeah. report, um, or the, the previous um, discussion on the craft, they didn't want to um, take away from other areas in terms of prioritising something to get done. Um, that's exactly what this does, if you agree to it today. There's um, only two point, point of order. That's I'm sorry. Wrong. Yeah. It's actually factually incorrect as to what we have said. Um, and so that's a point of order understanding orders. No, and no, yeah. Well, what's incorrect about it? Um, no, the fact that yeah. It's five five point five million dollars. No, okay. You just well, can that. I say there's five point five million dollars if you don't um, vote for considering this through the annual plan, that will be brought forward or sorry brought back. To, to do this work, and that hasn't been in the information we've got, hasn't been highlighted what projects in there will, will not be done or will be impacted, right? So I think that's... She that's already told stop. us. So um, Dan, anyway, so... Dan, but the Dan other thing is... The, the other thing is... Um, so done. I think, you know, like, it is important to get this work done, but the concern I have is that we haven't consulted on it. I think in terms of public consultation, this is a really significant project. It's a really good project. But I do believe that it's not right with our community to not have public consultation. To rely on something done in 2007, in 2022, uh, I think is unacceptable, especially with our resident survey feedback from people not understanding how we're making decisions and all the negative uh, satisfaction levels we've got around people um, thinking that they've got influence over what we do. I'm particularly concerned about the high number of uh, tree removals and also the financial impact. So I'll abstain from um, three and also vote against the tree removals and the delegations. Okay. Are we there? I think we're there. Um, um, so look, only, only really briefly, I'll support uh, number five, obviously because it was in the, in the um, our recommendations. And I only do that because this isn't a deferral or this isn't knocking a project on, on the head. What it's saying, like we did with the last one, is that we still consider this a priority, but actually we're going through an annual plan process over the coming months. I don't think there's any shame in this council getting on and doing the work, like Melanie said, getting stuff done around that first part of it and having a discussion around part two. I don't think there's any shame in that. So I'd hate for people to think uh, that are watching online that somehow we're trying to uh, stop a project altogether. This is being pragmatic in challenging times. And you all know, and the public will know really well next Tuesday, that we do need to make some choices. I think to make a decision like this today will signal very clearly to the public that we're not prepared to change our thinking. 
and they will know next week that that is unacceptable. So I would strongly encourage people to support number five, to separate into two, and then let's have a public discussion through the annual plan around that staging. It may very well be that we decide that it should be in that following year. There's no harm in that, but we need to go through a public process to do so. Uh, so I'd strongly encourage people to support five, uh, and let's put it to the vote. So let's let's go. Um, can we put the substantive? Do you want to put the amendments first? Yes. So let's go. So we'll put five first. So all in favour of that say aye. 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 Against? No. no. Maybe we just have a division just to... You yell loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four, five. The Mayor? Yes. Uh, Deputy Mayor Cotter? No. Councillor Peters? Yes. Councillor Harrison Hunt? Abstain. Councillor Coker. Um, no. <laughs> I was going to say. I thought we were getting. Councillor Fields. No. Donovan. Celeste. Yes. Sorry. Celeste, can you hear us? Or Celeste, can you hear us? Okay. Celeste, can you hear us? She's saying no. She's saying, oh, she's saying she can't hear us. Saying no. So. Can you do a... Right, can, everyone just, just stop, 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 stop. Let David carry on. We'll come back to Celeste. Okay, uh, Councillor Henstop. Yes. Councillor Moore. Yes. Councillor Goff. Yes. Councillor Johansson. Yes. Councillor Keon. Councillor McDonald. Yes. Councillor Barber. Yes. Councillor McCallum. No. Councillor Scandrit. No. Councillor Templeton. Okay, so uh, Celeste, can you hear us? She's she's abstained, does she? No, no. Celeste. No. Tyler abstains. Celeste, can you hear us? For, sorry, I'm still waiting for confirmation of can, what Celeste is. Do you want to just text us here and say thumb up or down? Yeah. Give, give her the choice, though. I think yeah. it's just say, put your thumb well, down. Well, I'd like to know what, which way she votes, please. <laughs> well, if she can't vote, she can't vote. If she can't hear, she can't vote. Yeah, if she can't hear, she can't vote. So. Celeste, okay. can you hear? Not if you can hear us. No, she no. so she's actually not really okay. participating. No, she's okay, so she's just absolutely. Okay, so yeses are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cool. And we have effectively two episodes. Oh, she's messaged me, can't hear. So that, that, is, so that is carried. Yes, it's carried. Okay, that is, that is carried. Uh, and then we'll put number four, so uh, around the trees. So uh, all in favour of that, say aye. 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 Against? Great. So can we just record that for Yanni? That is carried. And then can we just put this, uh, the, the balance of it? Oh, no, Yanni. You want Sorry, to... just just to be clear, on number three, just abstain. You want to abstain? Um, and also just vote against six. Can you just... Yeah. Can you just note those two for Yanni? About I, the environment. Everyone else is relatively comfortable if we put it. Three is abstain for Yanni and six was... No. So, so he's, no. he's abstaining uh, for three that. and he's voting against... Six. 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 Just three one as well. You're voting, you're voting against delegation to a staff. Okay. okay. Let, let's um, put that all in favour say aye. 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 Against. That's carried and noting Yanni's um, stuff as well. Okay. Thank you very much for that. That's a good outcome.